very fast learner, obviously. They fake it to Clement, and the lefty Hornibit rolls out and makes a nice throw. And that's Troy Fumagalli, his number one weapon. This is Clement. He gets the corner, hurdles a man, gets inside the Ohio State 40-yard line. The from the eye, it's Clement again, and a senior from Jersey. His defense on their opening possession so far this season. Clement again does show some patience, picks his way on the right side and earns about four yards. He's now spelled by Dare Ogunbowale, who gets the pitch and runs right into a wall of defenders there. Pre snap, they see it out all night. This is Clement, running left, Corey Clement. Has the corner, breaks a tackle, and gallops down the sideline. Clement in the clear. The senior has waited all season for a run like that. By far, Wisconsin's biggest play, but he lost the ball at the end. He lost the ball, and Damon Webb running with it for Ohio State on the far sideline. Was he stripped before he went out? Running game working early. More what they expect to see at Wisconsin. Clement. Gets a breather with that timeout and takes the time. Ohio State defense. They fake it to Clement. Hornybrook looping it over the head and trying to come back and make the play. Big conference game on the road for the first time. Clement spins through the middle and another productive first down run line. Not running with patience. Not much room that time. It'll set up third and short. But when the guys up front were. Morning, Brooke. Look to the direction of Ogun Bwale, who's their third down back, but he was well covered by Raekwon McMillan. Play. This is Ogun Bwale, and he's not really an off tackle. But dig that one up for me. <laughs> Bonus questions. PV again on the end around. This play has worked three times for Wisconsin earlier this year. This you expect to see. High formation handoff to Clement who uses a stiff arm and is finally slammed down by Chris Worley. When they're running the football, that's why they're giving him so many different looks. They pitch it to Clement this time. He was around that left side for a short game. It'll be third down. By the way, you are. Morning break. Delivers. Strike for Magali. First down. Another turn. Coaches love those guys, don't they? The grinders. Patience pays off. Warner Brook rolls out, and that time could not find it. Third down. Warner Brook steps up. Could have scrambled. Now takes a downfield shot, and it's complete. Down at the 10 yard line. Often right in the perfect position. So Badgers handed to Clement, who's cut down very quickly, charging up into the gap there was Lattimore. Clement. Stutter steps, goes for the corner, and scores as a flag comes down well away from where. Morning Brook, caught up in traffic and able to escape, but minute 16 away. Badgers on second and nine, send Hornibrook back, and he flips it short screen. Clement has room, Clement makes a cut. Back inside the five-yard line, Badgers in business again. Second catch for Clement this season. The first one for negative yards, that went for 18. And Hornibrook from the pocket is hit as he throws and sails it. That was quick pressure by Sam Hubbard. Ogunbowale tries to muscle but gets very little. Hornibrook. Fires far side for Ogunwale, but it's incomplete. See, oh, the ball to beat us. And can you stop our run? We feed Clement again. This is a guy that was very limited by both the Spartans and the Wolverines, but Clement with. So stretch him wide, then take a deep shot down the middle. We'll look for that. In the meantime, Clement picks his way, shows some more patience there, gets close to a first down. And Morning Brook is swarmed under and sacked. Off the edge was Jalen Holmes with his second sack of the year. They get eight on first down. Here comes PV in motion again, but they feed Clement, who barrels forward for a first down at the 29. They need to stay on schedule on second and third. 
Another first down throw. Hornibrook lobs it out. Intercepted. Coming up to make the pick was Gary and Conley. Yeah, most of them third and long. They got 36 on third and nine. Clement spins back. He could not escape Raquan McMillan's tackle there. Eight game, and this offense really struggled, and that's when Houston lost his job. Clement breaking free, gets a block, and muscles out inside the 25, and the Badgers threatening again. Number to 43 tonight. That time they bring TV in motion, but Clement busts up the middle, as you suggested. They spelling him. They snap it at two. Quarterback flips it off inside, and they convert the third down little shit. So it's Ogun Buale in the I formation. He's got it. He's not quite the physical runner that Clement is. Works hard for him. And this is the first carry, and Bradrick Shaw, he shows some power and some bursts. Behind all that beef, it's the fullback plowing in for a touchdown. Austin Ramish and the Badgers back on top. Fun the last couple games. Ogun Buale. It's a little cut and fights for a first down across the 35. Tight formation. They hand it to Ogun Buale who gets a little crease, gives a stiff arm, cuts it back, and you see the elusiveness. That's more what he's known for. Clement is back in there. And he's got the first down into Ohio State territory. Clement again. Cuts it back. A flag comes in in what would be, you figure, the holding zone. And that. Tony Brooks straight back. Flushed. Fires far side. High ball caught. As Wheelwright, the Columbus native, sets up the Badgers first and Clement behind Ramish in the I formation. He's got it, but again, penetration and no gain. Chris Clement goes in motion. Hornybrook back, paddling back, paddling, and has to just throw it out of the end zone. Third down coming up.